there is an absolutely insanely powerful tool within Amazon Brand Analytics. The problem is that most sellers don't even know about it. Well, in today's video, we break down that feature, how to use it, and step-by-step -step approaches you can use to take your Amazon business to the next level. Let's go. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome again to Heist, the channel where we break down deep dive strategies to effectively sell on the Amazon marketplace. And we do it every single week. So hit subscribe if this is your first time here. So for those of you that have brand registry, there's a whole host of features and tools that are available to you as sellers to effectively improve your products and your Amazon business. The features that most sellers are aware of and use are things like A plus content and videos, but there's a whole host of additional tools that give you deep insights into your business as well as into strategies that you can deploy within the Amazon marketplace. And I think one of the most powerful features is the brand analytics keyword tool, or as it's coined within Amazon seller central, Amazon search terms. So this video today is going to break down exactly how to leverage that report, things you can do to implement in your own business with that data and how you can automatically get these reports on a recurring basis. Be sure to stay through to the end because I've got an exciting announcement really related to keywords in general that I think you're going to like. Let's go into my computer. Okay, well, let's dive into this absolutely kick ass tool within brand analytics. First, for a little bit of housekeeping, you actually do need to have brand registry to access this feature. So if you don't have that yet, unfortunately, you won't be able to have this. But if you do have brand registry, what you're basically going to want to do is go to this brands tab and go down to brand analytics from that drop down menu. And that's going to pull you into all of these features here on the left hand side, which you can go through and access. The one that we're actually going to be working with today is called Amazon search terms. So the cool thing about Amazon search terms. First of all, is it's real data from Amazon themselves. So I love Helium 10 and a lot of these other tools out here that I leverage in the Amazon marketplace, but those are data scrapes and they're directionally trying to correlate data, external data to try to figure out what things like search volume are and revenue are and all those things. And they're great, but they're not perfect and they're not from Amazon. Brand analytics data is exactly from Amazon. And there's two really cool features that this Amazon search term report will reveal one of which is the actual click share of various products. And the second is, is the conversion share of various products. So for a given keyword and or a given set of ASINs, you can identify precisely which product is getting the most clicks and which product is getting the most conversions. That's really insightful if you've got an existing product to see exactly where you stand and where you can improve. And it's really insightful when you wanna find alpha ASINs within the category that are doing really, really well and try to replicate their success by identifying the keywords that they're converting on most. So there's a whole host of ways that you can use this, but the coolest way that I've found is to take the best performing products in a particular market category and put all of those ASINs in here to pull the report data and keyword data for all of them. So you can enter as many ASINs as you want. I usually enter about five. And so say you enter five ASINs, it's gonna show you every single keyword that any one of those five, even if it's multiple uh, products for the same keyword, shows up as the first, second, or third clicked product. So you get basically a suite of data for say five successful ASINs in the marketplace and understand every single keyword that they're getting the most click share and the most conversion share for. So it's really good for product research when you're looking at a market for the first time to identify who's actually converting on the key terms that matter and where are they ranking well for those key terms. And it's also really good for benchmarking your existing products against competition over time to see how you're doing, how competitors are doing, and identify the keywords that you need to target and improve on to start to take out those elf ASINs that are performing really well in the category. So let's see an example of what this actually looks like. So coming into Amazon, uh, I've been golfing a lot this summer and really the last couple summers. So I actually just bought a golf range finder recently. So let's just go ahead and, uh, and type that term in here just to get a fleet of products to use in this example. 
Uh, the cool thing here too is, is that most brand analytics features are isolated only to your products, but the search term thing, you can basically put in any freaking product on Amazon and identify where they're getting clicks and where they're getting conversions at the keyword level. So really, really cool in that respect. So it's very similar to a standard uh, Cerebro reverse ASIN approach. What you want to do is come into the Chrome extension for Helium 10. I've got a link down below if you don't use it and need access. I think there's like a 50% off code or it might be two months free. Anyway, I'll drop that down below. But you're going to pull up that, um, that tool X-Ray uh, here really just to see who's pulling in the revenue. And then what I like to do is identify what those higher revenue, really successful alpha ASINs are within the space. And I'm going to go ahead and click on, on the ones that I think are doing pretty good. So we're going to click a couple of these bad boys here. So I've got six. That should be plenty. So what I'm going to then do is, is uh, one by one come in here and I'm going to copy that to clipboard. And then if you come into this uh, tab here, and actually I like to do uh, quarterly typically for the first time to get the broadest range of terms. You can look at this monthly or weekly, which is really valuable if you want to track things over time. But if I'm looking at this for the first time and really just want to see, say over the last three months, who's been doing well in the space, uh, I'll usually select quarterly, but you can do monthly or weekly as well. So I just go through here and literally click on all of these ASINs and uh, hit this copy button here and bring them in. So just do comma and then enter. I'm going to fast forward here so you don't have to see this. Okay, so I've copied in all six of these ASINs here and then I basically just hit apply. It's going to work really, really quickly and pull list of keywords. So all of these keywords here are keywords that at least one of those ASINs has a top three click share or conversion share on. And if multiple of them are showing a high one, two, three position for the click share or conversion share, it's going to show those as well. So it's a really, really amazing list of the relevant keywords that really successful ASINs within a particular market are converting on and getting the most clicks on. So the couple of the rows, it's going to show the department, it's going to show the search term that's actually used. The search frequency rank is basically a ranking that Amazon has developed based on search frequency. So think of this like BSR, the lower the better, or in this case, the lower the search frequency number, the higher the monthly search volume. So they don't give you precise search volume, but you can use this search frequency rank and sort by lowest to highest to figure out what the most search terms are in terms of volume. Then it's going to show you the number one clicked ASIN. It's going to give you the title of that particular product. It's going to give you the click share, conversion share uh, of that. So what's the total percentage of all searches that get clicked on for that particular ASIN? And then of all the conversions and all the sales that take place for that particular keyword, in this case over the last three months, what's the percentage that they've actually converted? And then it's gonna give you the number two ASIN and the number three ASIN. So I'm really amazing stuff. And the fun part, which we're gonna chop this data up on, is you can actually export this to CSV or to Excel. So I'll typically export to CSV, and it's gonna download that here to my desktop. And then once I've got that, I basically come in to, you can, I can either use Excel or Google Sheets. I'm a Google Sheets guy because it's accessible anywhere in the world for my team. And then you basically come here to this import file import, you go to upload, and then I just drag that sucker over there. And then I usually just replace data at selected cell, import the data, and bada bing, bada bang. Um, this top row here is really irrelevant, so I delete that row. I also don't really care about the department, so I delete that just to clean it up a bit. And this is really the raw data that we're going to be having some fun with here. So you can see the power of this tool. So the first thing I actually do is I like to create a sort. So just go ahead and create a filter here. This enables us to kind of chop the data up a little bit. But this is where we're at now. So we now know for all these different search terms, let's see how many it are. So there's 84 of these six ASINs that have either one, two, or three click share. Uh, another way to say this is that these are likely the 84 terms that the alpha ASINs, the absolute dominating ASINs for this particular golf range finder category are doing the best on and making the most sales from. And also the lower the search frequency rank, the likelihood that there's more sales coming from that. So we're definitely gonna prioritize search frequency rank with this as well. So a couple ways that I kind of look at this. So first of all, let's say this is product research and I'm trying to evaluate this for the first time. This gives me a really good idea on what are the search terms that matter that I likely need to focus on and succeed on. And it's also going to tell me who the alpha ASINs are that are actually dominating the space. The second thing, if I'm already selling a golf range finder in this case, 
It enables me to identify successful competitors and identify where they're getting the most clicks and conversions so I can target those words either by maybe reprioritizing keywords into my title or doubling down on some pay-per-click efforts for those particular keywords to see if I can rise in the ranks and start to take some of that click share and conversion from them. So one data store I like to do, let's just say uh, for fun that we are this particular product here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And I like to just see all of the different terms that I'm either one, two, or three on so I can kind of visualize that. So let's just pretend that's our product. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of the columns, go to format, conditional formatting. And then I will say if, if this, uh, any cells have this, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it green so we can see there. And I'm not doing too great. I'm doing really good on a couple of the high search frequency ones, but there's only three terms that I'm actually one, two, or three on. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. Let's just pretend that this is the Elf ASIN or the, the ASIN that's doing really well in the space. Add another rule here. And then if this text contains this, I'm gonna go ahead and make this red. All right, so this guy's killing it, right? This guy is clearly doing well. Let's go actually back here just so we can see what this guy is. All right, so this is the guy that's that's the alpha ace and, and he's absolutely killing it. So what I can see from this is, is I can see all of the terms that they're number one on, which is definitely a focus, and then I can see where they're two and three on. But they've got a whack load of number one clicked and converted terms here that we really wanna pay attention to. The other cool thing here is it's gonna give you the title of all these, so if you also wanna see where what keywords your competitors are leveraging in your title and correlating that to the search term, it's another way of identifying how you can make improvements to your listing or if you're gonna enter this market for the first time, you can really look at this ASIN specifically and see some of the search terms that they've got in their listing as they're converting really well on them. So I could do things here, like if this is my Elf ASIN that I wanna understand more about, I can go ahead and filter this by color and just have all the red guys show up. So this is gonna give me the 33 words where they've got the number one conversion share on. And then I can look at either search frequency and you know the lowest being the, the most important in terms of volume, or I can even look at some of the conversion share stuff. So where are they actually converting really well? You can see 66% of the people that type that in, which is a branded keyword, makes sense, they convert on. But they get 47% of the sales that occur for golf finder range. So again, really good for benchmarking, for understanding where other products are going and what they're doing. And with this list, I then can look at my pay-per-click, I can look at my listing, and I can identify movements over time with click share and conversion share and target those keywords explicitly and find more sales, find more keyword domination, and find more success. So the other really cool thing about this tool is that you can actually automate the reports to come on a set frequency. So let's say I've done this once, I've looked at the quarterly analysis, and now I wanna look at this either weekly or monthly and have somebody on my team basically generate these reports for me, or I wanna generate them myself. You can basically come in here and go to schedule emails. So let's say I wanna do this on a monthly basis, and I wanna look at the August, uh, the most recent month, and just kinda see those keywords. I can come in here and schedule the actual email. Uh, I might put my product in here, or I might put just golf range finder so we know what it is. And then on a recurring basis, I can schedule this email to send me a link to download this report as it gets updated. The other really cool thing if you do this on a recurring basis, not only can you set up VLOOKUP tables to see how your own rank has changed over time for particular keywords, you can also check this box here which shows the products that have dropped from the top three clicked ASINs. So you can see the products that are slipping out of that top three and if that is one of your products, it will really flag a keyword that you need to pay attention to to get back up into that top three. Gives you really oriented pay-per-click strategies that you can focus on, listing optimizations, maybe you wanna look at you know photos that have changed from your competition and maybe that's improved their click share. You can readdress your own photos. It's absolutely an insanely valuable competitive tool and success tool to take your ASINs and products to the next level. So how stinking cool is that tool? I absolutely love it and need to give a quick hat tip to Manser. I'm gonna leave a link down to his channel below who's an absolute wizard when it comes to pay-per-click, but has really been doing a lot of cool stuff with brand analytics stuff on the back end, and has shown me a lot of cool features. So hat tip to you, man, love you. I uh, appreciate all the insights. And if you like this feature, and if you like my most popular video of all time, the Keyword Masterclass, which I'm gonna link up above, you're gonna wanna subscribe, you're gonna wanna hit alerts, 
because soon I'm gonna be dropping an absolutely free, crazy, automated tool that takes some of those keyword processes in addition to these brand analytics terms and automates them in a matter of minutes. So get ready for Keyword Masterclass 2.0. It's gonna be dropping soon and subscribe if you wanna find out when that is. Until the next time guys, I drop videos like this every single week. I hope to see you next week and until then, have a good one. Cheers.